Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs, album of the year 2021. We're going to be blasting Stress Angels 2020 demo on Stitch and Black Hand. Now, time for the album of the year. There's a reason I'm doing this before Thanksgiving, and it's because the new Frontalith record and the new Artificial Brain record, they're not gonna be here by the end of the year. It's just not going to happen. So, let's do this now, because I'm sure some really, like the new Stormkeep, if I can get my hands on it, you know, and it is, what I think it's going to be, then yeah, you know, I might have to do a re-up album of the year video. But as of right now, congratulations to Stress Angel bursting churches on Stygian Black Hand. Now, I actually don't remember off the top of my head, but was this my demo of the year last year? I know this made my demo list last year, because I was blown away by this demo. Because Stress Angel plays the type of death metal I really fucking love. And that's the ancient, ripping, evil variety. So, I'll show you the cosmetics here real quick, because it's just very simple. But at the same time, I just love this fucking band. Everything about them is just, like, amazing. Riffs for days, killer production. Like, seriously, it's ridiculous. Fred, Etsby, Fred kills it regardless. Like, I really wish we got a new full length from Impure this year, but like, this is pretty close. Like, I mean, just with the production and stuff from Fred. But every song on here is just grade A, top shelf, fucking ripping death. And to me, like, again, that's all you really need. And hails to fucking Hank S. Blackyard also, like, super sick guy, um, Electric Assault Records and whatnot, like, seriously, really awesome label also. There's so much good shit. Like, I got my name right there. And that's not why this made my album of the year list, but it's kind of cool seeing my name on my legit album of the year, like, cause that demo, like, I really pushed this. Like, hey, this fucking rules. And I'm glad, you know, people listen. Cause I'm pretty sure their record release show for this was with like, Sangha Sugabog and stuff. So, I really hope they, you know, won that crowd over. Like, I know they're playing a different style of death metal here, but that's a pretty cool, like, that shows how diverse Stress Angel can be, because, like, you know, I'm sure they could open any black metal show and still fit in, win over a crowd, but, like, opening for a band like that, you have a younger fan base, and I think that's just fucking awesome that a band like Stress Angel can open for a band like that and still fit in like that's what I mean because trust me like listen like this is the demo but again listen to how fucking ripping it is <laughs>
but this full length goes the extra mile like the demo like i said you know it really fucking hit home for me six tracks total and it was just everything i fucking wanted and a lot of these songs are re-recorded and it's just they sound great like fan fucking tastic and uh the demo has exposure to disease godless shrill flaming kingdom which is probably my favorite it opens this album up flaming kingdom angel of stress starving in a closet and final doom but uh the full length we have Flaming Kingdom, Bursting Church, Godless Shrill, Exposure to a Disease, Starving in a Closet, Life Mert, Providence, Angel of Stress, Mohel's Kiss, Final Doom, and The Human. Produced by Fred Etsby. Fred used to be in a band you might know called Dismember. Yeah. And he really knows his fucking black metal. And just that ripping, fucking evil blackness he manages to capture and mix with death metal. And that's what Stress Angel does. If that's not up your alley, hey, I get it. Like, if you want to pick, you know, the new Mortiferum, the new Worm, there was a lot of bangers this year. But, like, to me... I was legit like, fuck, this is a hard choice because I really like, like, I like the new Craven Idol. I really like the new Pan American Native Front. Like, but when it came down to it, I listened to this a lot. I probably listened to this more than any other release this year. But if Stress Angels, Burning, Bursting Church was not my number one album of the year, thanks to Manny Soares on vocals, drums, and percussion, with Nikolai Orphis on guitars, keyboards, and special effects. This album is dedicated to John Rossi and Sean Bell, produced and mixed by Fred Etsby, recorded at Moonlight Miles Studios, January 2021, Engineered by Mike Mobis, mastered by Jamie Elton at Seven Gate Studio, February 2021. Cover photo by Steve Pupo. Was that in like a magazine or a newspaper? Because that's an amazing church fire photograph. Wow. Electric bass layout and design by Hank S. Blackyard. Now, Hank, I don't think, I, I always forget his real name. I think it's Henry, because he does Blood Incantations merch sometimes. So you might recognize him. If you do, just say, I love your tunes. Because he plays in a couple of, I don't want to spoil like, I'm sorry if I spoiled that, but he plays in a few bands that are related. And I love every project he's fucking in. I mean, obviously, there's a big one. If you know me personally, you know how much I love this fucking band that he's in. But, um, even if you watch this channel, you, you should know what band I'm talking about. <clears throat> but, yeah, anyways... Stress Angel knocked it out of the park with their debut full length here. And with um, Hank on session bass, this band's technically a duo. And like I said, it's fan-fucking-tastic. Like, again, if you don't like this shit, I don't know what to tell you. Logo by Will Dozer, all music and lyrics by Stress Angel. Like, that logo again, look how classic that is. The aesthetics, everything about this is just perfect. 
And you might say, oh, nothing's perfect. And, you know, nothing may be perfect. But to me, like, let's say I didn't know this band at all and I walked into a record store. Yo, I have a fucking church blowing up on the cover. I have a sick promo photo on the back. I have awesome song titles and I know who the producer is. Some, that's something I know you might be like, you're a fucking nerd. Like, what's with you on producers? Who's this Ethan Camp guy you keep talking about? Like, who, who's Greg Wilkinson? Who's Billy Anderson? These are things you need to know. You don't need to know, but like, it's good to know. Like, if you see Arthur Rizk's name on something, chances are it's going to be very well produced or purposely, ridiculously savage sounding. He can go either way. Cause, I mean, fuck, I'm pretty sure he wrote the entire new Eternal Champion shit. Like, I'm pretty, like, 98% sure that was, like, all him. But, when it comes to what was pretty much tied for my number two favorite release of the year, real quick, let me get the cassette version and put it on for you. I should have got this ready ahead of time, but, um, oh, see, I, I knew I had it, fell, fell over. But, like, coming off of this demo and then, you know, re-recording, re Stress Angel just fucking killed it here. It's pretty sick. Sorry. But, uh, I really love the demo cover. Like, it's just fucking awesome. Kind of Ed gein -y. Like, uh, if you've ever seen that Ed Gein photo but there's two bodies on a demo and you get zero info here like I always I always liked that like you know I didn't know who was in Stress Angel and whatnot until I got the full length which was originally meant to be on yellow vinyl to go with the fire and whatnot but I really like the fact that it's on this fucking sick purple or red. I'm not real. Again, I'm kind of colorblind, so to me, that's purple. And if it is purple or pink, um, I mean, if it's pink, I apologize. But to me, that's purple. And it's got these, like, you know, kind of streaks in it. Makes it look really nice in the light. See? I'm trying to get it, like, it's got, like, a universe in it. See it? That's sick looking, right? Jesus Christ. Sorry, folks. This is my video making time. And this is my year end video, so I really do apologize. I just already shot 14 minutes and I should have turned that cell phone off. But here is what was number one, but it's not a full length. And the reason... I'm even bringing this release up is because it's so good. And again, I didn't hear a single person mention this. And then I have a compilation. But I'm talking about... Human Failure, Caligari and Sentient Ruin, whenever these two labels get together, expect gold, and this is just some of the fucking most disgusting, gnarly death metal I heard all fucking year, because it's more than just death metal.
It's fucking insane. But it is an EP. So the 10 inch is great. I just have plain black vinyl. I think this comes on bone white also, but it might be sold out. If it's sold out, I apologize, but holy fuck, this is so good. Like if you like, you know, death metal that thinks outside of the box and noise, oh, yeah. That's what I mean, like this, this was like my release of the year for a very long time. And I knew it wasn't a full length, and I kept waiting. I was like, fuck, there has to be a full length this year that, like, really fucking kicks ass. And there, there's a couple real good ones, but this is my shit. Like, you know, this is really, like, the stuff I like. And American One Man Monstrosity Human Failure debuts with its first ever offering. So this is like a demo then even? Fuck. A mangled and gnarled disfiguration of raw death metal, raw punk, and harsh noise spewn from the outer limits of complete nihilism and inhumanity. Yeah, ridiculous. I don't have my reissue yet of the year. I'm gonna do a whole video on the reissue of the year because this was the year of the reissue and thank you to every single label that reissued something gnarly. Like, when it comes to demos, like, oh, again, I have, a, I have a list. Here, I only have legit three releases to go over with you folks. And, this is for vinyl, by the way. I am going to do cassette full lengths also, but this is just in general compilation of the year also I'm just doing it in this video because this also goes along here and that is sentient ruin the cassette should be arriving tomorrow I think bestial putrefaction eternal ripping chaos bestial gore holy fuck this, again, this is my shit. This is so fucking gnarly and insane. You just need to hear how fucking sick this is. And you get two releases on here and it's just amazing. Eternal flesh ripping chaos and gore drenched barbarism. Like, I really like how they give you the original artwork. Sickening cover. I'll do it in the split of the year, too, because we're at 20 minutes. Ah, I will hold off on that. But I love, love, love. This comes on yellow vinyl, also. But. This is one of those releases I, I, you need, I feel like you need it on black. I also have yet to hear the entire new Antichrist Siege Machine, so that's why you're not seeing that here. But I'm sure I would have loved it. But Bestial Putrefaction, 12 inch compilation of Bestial Putrefaction's first two demos. A horrifying 30 minute apocalypse of total bestial gore slash war noise barbarism and inhumanity for fans of revenge, regurgitate carcass, impentago, death worship, and piss grave. Yeah. Insane. Fucking insane. Bestial future faction. Human Failure and Album of the Year. Congratulations to Stress Angel with Bursting Church. Stitch and Black Hand. Fuck yeah. Ripping, ancient sounding American death metal. Done absolutely magnificently. Riffs, vocals, drums, everything. So good. 
and next video I'll go over split of the year, demo of the year, and all that stuff. So, the one demo I had picked out for demo of the year I do not have a physical copy of, so that cannot make the list, sadly. I do apologize. But, as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Listen to Stress Angel, listen to Best Deal Future Faction, listen to Human Failure, and enjoy. Thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails. No.